going to talk a little bit about Fluorg. Um, Fluorg is uh, pretty much, much the basic of badminton. Um, it is one of the most important things uh, to be able to move. Um, and first of all, you will get fast by moving correct. You will save energy because uh, you move more efficiently. And uh, you will position yourself uh, in the correct uh, position for um, doing the stroke you, um, you want to do. So, um, one of the basic things in footwork is uh, rhythm. And um, to get the rhythm, uh, you can make a kind of footwork called slow footwork. Uh, the point is not doing it fast, uh, the point is doing. Uh, the movements correctly uh, and for a long time. Uh, but doing this for a long time, you get a rhythm, and in the end, you will actually get very quick by doing it. So, the steps is uh, normal steps in badminton is from uh, the, <coughs> the center of the court. You uh, position your in, in the right position with the balance a little bit in front. So you stand like this, and the feet um, about one meter uh, from each other, and then you move, and the movements uh, is like this, and you have to try to relax when you do it. You don't need to do it very fast, but if you look, I come slowly to the center and then fast from the center just the first step and you don't need to move all the way to the corners just like this and then you can ask okay how long time can you do it for depends uh, you can Try to start with five minutes, and then you can add time as you want. You see, you get a very good rhythm by doing it this way. Depends what shape I'm in, <laughs> but uh, some, something like 10 minutes, and sometimes I build it up to 15, 20 minutes. Uh, you can use your, if you have a heart rate monitor, you can use that, and it means that that's very good to control that you're not doing it too hard, because you tend to do it too hard actually, and that's not the point of this exercise. So. You can do it with a heart rate around 80% of your max and um, that will be the same as having a run. So uh, when you get used to doing this kind of training, you can do it up to half an hour, 40 minutes uh, without stopping. So it will build up your stamina on court and uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's a way to do it, but you have to start slowly and get used to it. And I would recommend that uh, the training is done like once a week. What do so. you think about the fo like here? We were talking about the focus of the split step in the middle. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, I mean uh, there is there's two ways to do it. You can do it so you practice to after every corner you have been to, you come back and it's. Um, it's like a line between uh, between the feet uh, this way, but in in match you naturally do it in another another way. You like kind of when you come from this corner, maybe you move like this, and then you shift. And if you move like from this corner, maybe you come back like this and move like this. So uh, because the the center of the court changes from where you are uh, and have been. 
uh, from the shot before. Normally, you can uh, you can practice the feet uh, in different positions. Um, both things are very important uh, to train, but the most important thing is that your balance between uh, your movements is good. So, if you've been to the net corner in, in your um, forehand, it doesn't. It's not good if your position is like this because then you are not in a good position for the next shot. So that means when you have been here, try to see, okay, this is a good position, I can move here, here, here. This corner is more difficult, but at least you're in a good balance and a good position of your upper body. So that is important. Uh, and it's important that you stay down in your, uh, in your legs. If you kind of like come up here, you lose your power. So what is important is when you've been here, come down here, like here, and then you can use the power from the movement. So it's like whoop, and like this, you're down here, move like this. If you, for example, get up like this, you have lost your power from, from the eccentric uh, movements you have done through the corner. So it's important that you kind of stay down and position your body in the right direction. <laughs>